In this box is the new Cactoily Smart 7-in-1 Wi-Fi Aquarium Monitor for saltwater and freshwater aquariums. Compared to the previous model, this probe size has been reduced by about 62%, making it more versatile and easier to use, even in nano aquariums. The sensors have also been improved. The aquarium I will be testing it in is a low-tech one, so some of the water parameters are unusual. For this reason, after testing this product, I decided to monitor the water parameters for a while. Even though I was on vacation 500 miles away, I will explain this and other features that impressed me right away. I like this gold embossed writing. The reason it says this on the box is because Cactoily deals exclusively with professional water testing products. So it's not a one-size-fits-all brand. Cactoily specializes in water testing, starting with water for human consumption. I looked at their website out of curiosity and saw that they have products that detect viruses or bacteria in water. This book should be the basic book of the aquarist. Let me explain. The book that you receive when you buy this product explains all the parameters measured by this device, but it also explains how to solve an identified problem. So it finds your problem and tells you how to solve it. Bravo! In the box, I found another book. I looked at these books and smiled. I remembered an unpleasant experience I had the other day with a purchased home appliance. The product was large and expensive, and the instructions were piled on a sheet, written in 12 languages. Cactoily offers simple, concise instructions with pictures. As well as other easy-to-follow instructions, a USB cable. I also found adapters for the socket. I'm glad they're included because they'd be quite expensive if I had to buy them myself. In the box, you will find absolutely everything you need. Even a few sachets of pH buffer powder for calibrating the probe. Very important. Cactoily Smart 7-in-1 Aquarium Wi-Fi Monitor is ready to use. It does not need to be calibrated, set up, or anything else before use, as is done with other similar products from other brands. If you are picky, you think you know better how to calibrate the pH probe, you can always do that. This is the probe. It has a single wire where it is powered. The cable is quite long. At the other end are the sensors. I'll put the cap back on. There's a solution in the cap that prevents the probe from decalibrating. The sensors are never allowed to dry out. And this is the monitor. It looks familiar to me. I'll make a comparison right away. Look what I found in the box. Everything you need to use this product immediately. Let's see a comparison between the old and new model. The monitor looks the same on the outside as the new model. But only when you plug it in can you see the improvements. The new sensor probe is 62% smaller and also has some improvements related to the sensors. 
I find it amazing how the people at Cactoile managed to put so much high-performance technology into this new small-sized probe. The installation went smoothly. I connected the cable to the charger. I chose one of the two mounting systems. I removed the protective cover from the sensor and installed the other cover. And I put the probe in the water at the level recommended by the manufacturer. It was faster than I expected. I connected the USB cable that connects to the power supply. The monitor communicates with the Wi-Fi probe, so there are no wires between them. And that's it. It works. The water parameters are displayed on the monitor screen. If you want, you can use your phone. Install this application. It works on both iOS and Android phones, and you can see the water parameters from anywhere. You are even notified on your phone if the water parameters are exceeded. So I installed this application. I have agreed to receive notifications. Otherwise, you will not be notified on your phone by notifications if the water parameters reach a level that requires your attention. Then you can create an account or use the application without an account as a guest. I clicked on Add Device in the top right corner, after which you have to hold down the button in the middle of the monitor for three seconds. It can be seen that the phone has found it. All that remains to be done is to enter the local Wi-Fi network to which it should connect. And that's it. I installed and set up the application quickly. I had no problems. The application is complex and allows you to customize it individually according to each person's requirements. When I wanted to start the test, I noticed two things. The probe is a little thicker than a finger. It is barely visible behind my finger. And another thing I noticed is that it seems invisible. I couldn't see the part that is in the water. I zoomed in. I changed the angle. Still can't see it. Let's start the test. First of all, Cactoily Smart 7-in-1 Aquarium Wi-Fi Monitor measures the temperature with great accuracy and precision. I have a collection of thermometers in the aquarium because each one shows a different temperature. This one was expensive but disappointing. It shows 4 degrees Celsius more. This one looks good, but the writing is very small. And this one is good, but sometimes it is influenced by the outside temperature. For example, when I ventilate the room. And this one, the last one I bought, I found that it also indicates wrong by 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius. It is very important to monitor the temperature of the aquarium with a quality sensor. Two friends have complained to me in the last 12 months that their fish in the aquarium boiled because of faulty water heaters. One of them is an aquarist with a lot of experience. He just had bad luck with that broken heater. If he used such a device and was notified on his phone every five minutes that the water temperature in the aquarium was high, I think he wouldn't end up losing some gorgeous fish. I am sure that the temperature indicated by Cactoile has excellent accuracy. TDS, or Total Dissolved Solids, is a measure of the combined content of all inorganic and organic substances dissolved in water, expressed in parts per million ppm. These substances include minerals, salts, and metals, which are typically cations like calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. 
and anions like carbonate, hydrogen carbonate, chloride, sulfate, and nitrate. I tested the TDS of the aquarium water with my old tester. There is a difference between the TDS indicated by my tester and the one displayed by Cactoily. Cactoily is definitely very accurate because the tester I use does not have temperature correction, but Cactoily is. TDS in water can be influenced by temperature. As water temperature increases, the conductivity of water also increases, which is directly related to TDS. This is because higher temperatures increase the mobility of ions and enhance the solubility of many salts and minerals in water. The next thing that Cactoile monitors, and which is one of the most important things, is pH. pH is a measure of the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution, indicating its acidity or alkalinity. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral. Solutions with a pH less than 7 are acidic, while those with a pH greater than 7 are basic or alkaline. Maintaining the right pH level is crucial for a healthy aquarium. The acceptable pH range for most freshwater aquariums is between 6.8 and 7.8. You can see that Cactoily measures correctly. But the most important thing is that Cactoily comes calibrated from the factory. It does not need to be calibrated before use like other products. Also, Cactoily recommends calibrating the pH probe once every three to six months. This is also a very good thing because anyone who uses such devices from other brands knows that they need to be calibrated monthly. Or so are the ones I have used so far. Cactoily also supplies pH buffer powder to calibrate the pH probe a few times. Also, the pH probe Cactoily is very accurate. The test will continue. But first, I look to see exactly who this brand Cactoily is and what it does. I looked at their website and saw that Cactoily is a company specialized in professional water tests for aquariums, drinking water, analyzer bacteria, virus, microplastic, water for swimming pools, soil tests, and other kinds of tests. Cactoily is already known as a well-known brand by many people who use their products. Cactoily are innovative. They are currently working on new patents. These products will be launched soon. I looked at the reviews and saw that people are very happy with their products. But what is most important is the price. I compared the price of this product that I am testing with other similar products. I was amazed at how expensive some similar products are, where you only pay for the brand and not for the quality. And if you want a better offer, I left you a code in the video description with which you can have a 15% discount. The next test this device does is this. Electrical conductivity, EC, is a measure of a solution's ability to conduct electricity, which is influenced by the concentration of conductive ions present. In aquariums, EC is used to assess the concentration of dissolved solids, which are crucial for the health and well-being of aquatic species. This aquarium is one in which I do not have a filter and I do not change the water. And the electrical conductivity value is high. Recommended for a planted aquarium like this is between 100 and 500 microsiemens per centimeter. Softwater species like discus and parachyrodon 
require values below 100 microsiemens per centimeter. Seek lids from African lakes, Malawi and Tanganyika thrive at values above 500. In saltwater aquariums, EC is a good indicator of salinity. For reef aquariums and fish-only saltwater aquaria, the EC value is typically around 53 microsiemens per centimeter, which corresponds to a salinity of 35 parts per thousand or a specific gravity of 1.25. This device is also able to measure oxidation reduction potential. Oxidation reduction potential is a measure of the water's ability to oxidize or reduce substances in a reef or fish tank. It is expressed in millivolts and reflects the balance between oxidizing and reducing agents in the water. This tester provides some valuable information, helping you have the aquarium you've dreamed of. Specific gravity of a fish tank water. It is a ratio of its density to that of pure water. It is commonly used to measure salinity or dissolved substance concentration in fish tanks. Salinity. Maintaining the correct salinity level is crucial for a healthy reef tank. No problem with this device. This device does it very well, with great precision and at a very good price. I wanted to do a different test. I mean, I took some tap water and put the probe in there to see what happens. To see if it's sensitive and if it goes out of control, how long it takes to update, and if anything unexpected happens. Although it is not advisable to do something like this with a probe of this type, I did it. If it is a test, let's test this too. The probe did not fail. It immediately read the water parameters. It started updating all the parameters. Anyway, I am surprised by how quickly it reacted. With the help of the buttons on the monitor, you can access a lot of settings. I think this tester from Cactoily does its job very well. It is an improved one and its price is very good. If you are looking for a professional monitoring of the water in your aquarium, you can go with confidence with the Cactoily Smart 7-in-1 Aquarium Wi-Fi Monitor, especially since I left you a discount code in the description of this video.